welcome back to physics and computation thinking this is technical problem 4 and we are going to discuss this time few technicalities of Wolfram language or Mathematica and we will learn about the implementation. What we are going to do today is we are going to learn about manipulation of manipulation of list using using at add at and slash add operators let's say we have got a list of 1 comma 2 we want to apply some function on this list let's say a plus function of 1 comma 2 simply means 1 plus 2 that is 3 if you want to see it in its you know without evaluating you want to see it in its natural form without evaluating it is 1 plus 2 whole applying whole form on plus does not allow you to evaluate and you can see the expression uh, that's what whole form does the slash slash operator is postfix for evaluating a function so i want to evaluate any function let's say i, I want to uh, let's say i, I want to do sin x square plus cos x square. I want to simplify this. So if I want, I, there are two ways of doing this. I can apply a postfix post expression for simplify and that will simplify this to 1. So slash slash is same as postfix operation. So slash slash means postfix application of a function similarly if i want to apply a prefix application of function for example on the same expression i'll copy this expression over here i can also apply simplify on this before and that apply simplify only on sin x so i should include enclose this inside the set of brackets so now the simplify operation acts on the entire bracket when i apply this it gives me one this is equivalent to doing this Up, enclosing sin square x plus cos x cos square x inside the simplify and evaluating it so slash slash does is does postfix add operator is prefix application of the function and finally this is the standard form standard form means the way, the usually the way we apply functions that is we write the function and put its argument inside the square brackets so this is the standard form similarly if i've got you know two arguments for example as in the case of plus which just adds two numbers or three numbers or four numbers a lot for such a thing i can also do the following i can define a list which is elements one two three four and i can say apply plus to this notice what happens when i do that that it doesn't change anything because it's applying plus to the entire list what i want to do is i want to apply plus to the to the whole thing and that gives me that, that gives me the evaluation of adding one two three four what i want here the the at add operator applies works similar to to add operator but takes each element of the list and takes that as an argument of the plus function to see it more elaborately let me take a function that i have not defined and let me apply that function f at this list one two three four that is equal into the function f applied on the arguments one two three four so added operator works on list and takes the all elements of list as argument of a function compare this with f at one two three four this will take the entire list one two three four as a single argument of the function f as shown over here so the function f has only one argument which is this list one two three four 
So both at at and at are prefix, but at takes the whatever follows at, whatever expression follows at is taken as the argument for f. And for at at operator, it must the whatever expression follows that, a list that follows that, each argument is taken as as the uh, argument for the, the function. Similarly, there is also a map operator. In ma map operator or the slash add operator. If I take a list such as 1, 2, 3, 4, I can apply some function f slash add 1, 2, 3, 4. The action of that is it'll generate me a list where the list contains f1, f2, f3, f4, and so on. So, slash add operator is a map operator that is, it maps a list or array of, of elements to an array of function applied to each of the elements of the array. So, this map operator simply takes the function and distributes it over the list, giving me another list where f is applied to all these different arguments. If you want to read more about this, you go ahead, select this operator and press function f1 and that will give you the help for the map operator and you can read a lot about it. You can also use a map operator with the symbol map map rather than the slash add, but slash add is much more convenient and we will end up using several times. So, this was a quick overview of the map operator, slash slash operator, add operator and add add operator.